like to give all praises to the highest honors to Yahweh. Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar, Badash. Alright, we're gonna wrap this camp coming at you once again with the beautiful view. Alright, show you uh, the most I have some beautiful creations out here. Okay? And in a uh, beautiful world, there's a lot of fucked up things that's transpiring individually and abroad. You know, all we can do in the end is pretty much bear the indignation of how about you, you know what I'm saying? Done, because we that's the whole reason we over here. We not we didn't get first and foremost, us the Israelites, you Negroes, Indians, Latinos, and, and the confusion of faces around the globe, we didn't get brought to the Americas and all these other places and put in oppression uh and, and slavery uh from on the love boat or anything like that. We did it because we had we had um, sinned against the Heavenly Father. We're not here. We haven't been put here to party and bullshit, so to speak. We've been put here to serve our punishments, you know, in this captivity that we're under right now, you know. So without further ado. This, yeah. is, uh, this is Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against you. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. Right. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Shai until he uh, plead my cause. You know, we over here to serve captivity. We are in constant oppression in this kingdom. While this, while the so-called white man is in rulership, we're in constant oppression. That's you, uh, you Israelites out there. Even though two thirds of our people wouldn't say so. That's why they're gonna have to die with uh with our very enemies and shit. You know? Not to mention that we bear the iniquities of our of this life in the past. Con, con. You know what I'm we everything is. Um, can you please put that in Second Timothy? Uh, what? Yeah, you know, hey, you know, basically all of these things catch up with us. <laughs> all in the all, when all, everything is everything. All of this shit catches up with us. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Psalms 19 and 12. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at uh, yeah, yeah, 19 and 12. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant uh, also from presumptuous presumptuous sins. Let them not let them not have dominion over me then shall i be upright and i shall be innocent from the great transgression let let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight o yahweh my strength and my redeemer what scripture is that? psalms 19 starting at 12. but yeah i mean keep me keep us from our um secret faults because to us, our, our past sins are actually a secret. We don't we don't know what we what we've sinned in our past, man. You know. Also, there's so, things also that we can't see about ourselves. Current things that we can't recognize that's not right in ourselves at times, and we have brothers around us to, you know, what I'm saying pretty much. Well, if we believe in that, you know, we may be prophets that we may be men of the Lord. All right, then it's true, but we got to take heed to the things that brethren say around you. Because when you say these things, when they say these things, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's not us speaking. All right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's your Alba Shemi Al Shai speaking out mm -hmm. through us as a vessel. It's the mouthpiece of the Most High. So all we can do is say what He has going down for us to say, at least we be, you know, punished. Okay? That's why we have different chastisements set in order. To get us a white when we do those things. You know, in the end, mm -hmm. it's all about really being able to perceive and recognize them and asking y'all about shooting y'all shot for mercy. You know, a lot of times, those things can be a secret to them because we can't see them in ourselves all the mm -hmm. time. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta really be able to see yourself in somebody else's shoes or project yourself. Mm -hmm. Because when you can project, it's best to project than to deflect. When you're constantly deflecting, you're not able to recognize what's readily wrong with you. Mm -hmm.
because you, I mean, at least the, and, and for that to continue, the Most High will chasten you, chastise you. As that chastisement is a correction brought about because He loves you. Alright? It's not because, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah hates you or He scorns you because there's a lot of cats that do wicked shit that nothing happens to them. You know? Um, it shows that uh, those that he loves, he chastens. You know, otherwise, you would be considered a bastard in the eyes of the Lord because he's not giving you that chastisement. So therefore, he's actually allowing you to keep sin upon sin with no correction, with no um, uh, correction to, um, or reproof to get get yourself in order before he brings that destruction upon you. So if you actually going through being chastised and afflicted, that's the Lord actually trying to show you your error and your faults for you to actually get it right. You know? And he may put you in a low, lower state. Lord, um, so got more? Uh, this is uh, Baruch chapter 3, verse 5. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord, Yahweh our power, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts, to the intent that we should call upon thy name, and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Alright? And the most I, you know, by us, you know, having us in this captivity, and by calling us to remembrance, we're remembering the, the um, former sins of our forefathers, you know, being in this land and, you know, being in captivity because it was for our punishment. Right. It says, uh, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord, Yahweh our power. So now we, I mean, being made tributaries to our en enemies. You know, you got rent, you got bills, everything that you need, you have to go to your enemies and one of all things. You can get fined, fine, parking tickets, fine, fine for, uh... I was just about to mention that. Yeah. But, but fine for false, with bearing false witness against you. And they, I mean, they even make uh, money off you in, in the court systems. As far as paying lawyers, attorneys, yeah. or if they um, have fines on your records, record as far as um, you know, being you being on um, probation, so you gotta about pay off and do shit like that. So uh, making fucking payments for some unjust shit. So it says, "Hear Israel the commandments of life, and give ear to understand wisdom." How happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land? that thou art waxing old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. Right. We constantly defile with the spiritually dead every day. Not to mention the dead is built up, it's, it's buried within the city limits, man. You know, you're supposed to have a place where you set the dead outside the city. Not within your city limits. You know? Not to mention that we, we lump together with all these spiritually dead motherfuckers all the time. You know, doing they uh, wicked ass deeds and shit like that. Yeah. Doing they wicked ass deeds and shit. You know, you being made Come unclean on. just being around them. Come Get on the on. bus, what happens? You made unclean. Woman with a period somewhere and sat down. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know what I'm saying? In the confusion of this kingdom, she outside, you know what I'm saying? Going to work or whatever. And she was on her period, sitting on it seat by seat. Come made unclean. Uh, this is Daniel chapter 9 verse 5. We have sinned and committed iniquity and have right. done wickedly and rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. And well, anytime we rebel, it's going against the precepts of these scriptures. Against this word and you're all about you all shy, whether it be uh, in a small way or a great way. Uh, whether it be seen of men and whether it be hidden. All right, you know, most eyes ever watch, his eyes are always upon Jerusalem. 
that don't just mean the city. You know, it's us as a people, man. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name to our to our kings and our princes and our and our fathers and to all the people of the land. O Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all the countries whether thou hast driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. It's not just a confusion of faces in the sense of finding out who's um, of, of, of the, the seed of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai or, or of the seed of Jacob. All right, you also got that because you don't recognize who's who. You got some that have that exercise their wickedness um, and their deception through the truth. And so throughout the four corners of the globe, you got to be able to have your your, your um, discernment exercise so you can recognize what's what. All right, because you got cats that's moving in this truth um, in a deceptive way and using this truth to, you know, push some other agenda that they may have. And Al Bashim Yal Shai says that straight. Uh, it's of Lamentations 3 and 22. It is of Yahweh's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. Right. Most I have compassion on us constantly. That's why we fail not because it ain't got nothing to do with our personal strength or weaknesses. Our own uh, personal righteousness, which is us filthy rags. Right. Don't have shit to do with any of that. It says, <clears throat> they are new every morning. Great is thou, there, uh, is thy faithfulness. Yahweh is my portion, says my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Anytime we get into some shit, we turn to the alibi shit and all shit. We can't turn to the flesh of our own arm. arm. We definitely can't turn to, uh, to this system or to this devil. You gotta trust and have hope in the alibi shit and all shit to keep that thing in the right. Because that's the only way it's really gonna come about. Don't get me wrong, at times he uses the enemy to bring these things about, but you understand, man, he's the only one that's making it possible in the end. I don't give a fuck who and what you do. Must be this jackass on this door. Therefore will I hope in him. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. So we start Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And you know, eventually he came to us, man. We sought him out. We didn't find him. We found us. Uh, it says, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke and his youth. Right, this is uh, work, man. It's better that we bear going through these things right now. In our youth. And it don't necessarily just be a youth. I mean, coming into this truth. That's safe right there. Yeah, they just come into the park to fuck around and, and rip up their bullshit. I ain't never seen that shit. I know.
Yeah, this, but this is their last hurrah. You know what I'm saying? Their last hurrah for the end. chapter 4 verse 21 rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwelleth in the land of Uz the cup, the cup shall also pass unto thee thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished O daughter of Zion he will no more carry thee away in, unto captivity he will visit thine iniquity O daughter of Edom he will discover thy sins and you know the reason I went on read that because this the spirit in me is starting to change and shit because of these devils being around. And shit. That couple is about to pass around to these devils. This is their last hurrah, man. Hey, 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 we gonna be glad to see that. You know, we we started off bearing the indignation of the Lord, you know, and that's what we're in this captivity for. But now it's, it's Esau's turn. They finna have to bear their indignation. And the Lord is not going to plead the cause for these devils, man. It's over for them. You know, they, the, the only thing they got to look forward to is slavery. Slavery and constant hell, man. That's what they got to look forward to. Because our, our iniquity is accomplished. We're just waiting for the Lord to plead our cause. We, we here bearing our iniquity waiting for the Lord to plead our cause. But, they, but, they, but they, their, their plea is going to fall on deaf ears. The Lord is not going to hear their uh, plea when they're in their constant hell, man. Matter of fact, all they got is, is straight up death and destruction coming. They don't got nothing left, nothing to look forward to, you know. Because when they had when they had their chance, which is right now, they didn't do anything but commit iniquity, man. Everything they did was uh, transgress the laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They didn't do nothing else but that. That's so, what they known as the sons of perdition. Con. Look up that word perdition. Con. It goes back to the Latin word per day, which means to cast away or to throw off. Right. So they, they were ordained to be the wicked who were who the most I was going to cast away and destroy. Con. Yeah. Con. Especially in, you know, after they received that thousand years of slavery with no mercy. Con. They also are the sons that cast away the Lord's laws, man. Yeah, what do you say? You are the ones that uh, you uh, took the law in your mouth and then cast it behind you. This is uh, Deuteronomy 37. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh, thy God, or thy power, <coughs> will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee. The most mm -hmm. high is going to put these curses on these devils. Son, all the curses that uh, Jake went through. You tribe, you so-called Negroes, Indians, Latinos went through. All these uh, curses are going to go unto Esau and the rest of our enemies, which are the other nations, man. Except for, uh, except for butt break. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to, we're not going to, um, well, that's not actually in the curses. That's just one of the iniquities that Esau did. We're not going to do the iniquities that Esau did to us. We're going to put hell on them in righteousness, man. We're going to put straight up righteous hell on their ass, man. All, all the wickedness that they did, we're not going to do wickedness in the kingdom, man. We're going to follow the law, sets, and commandments of our uh, power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. We're going to play that gay ass shit. Con, con. We ain't going to be fucking popping little boys and, con. you know, hear little girls and shit. No, that, that's something. not going to happen you know, in the kingdom, man. In the kingdom man. of heaven, I mean, these are the nations that... Like, uh, try to get into that sodomite shit, they're gonna be made a cruel example out of. Con, con, con. I, I mean, shit. Our, our, our punishment is, is pretty much up. All we waiting for is the Lord to plead our cause, and through the men of the Lord, mainly the, the brothers of GMS, you know, and, and, and other camps that's teaching the same doctrine, you know, hey, through the men of the Lord, we we waiting for the Lord to plead our cause. That's what we're waiting for. Because the scriptures say our iniquity is accomplished. The How do we know that our iniquity is accomplished? Is because we're learning the truth now. The door is open unto us now. We know that we're Israelites, and the Lord has given us the doctrine, man. The 
truth, man. Truth is no longer here. Dude. Con, the truth is no longer here. In a nutshell, the truth is no longer here. That's how we know our iniquity is accomplished. You know? But, go ahead, go ahead. Lamentation 3 and 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the house. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke of his youth. He sitteth alone and keep it silent because he has borne it upon him. Gun. Wait, wait. Is we gonna, um, you know, get guns and form a movement and you know go against uh, Esau's uh, um, government structure carnally? Oh. Or, or wait, what did it say? I'll read that again. It says, "He sitteth alone and keep it silent because he has borne it upon him." Right up, up above that. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke of his power. Well, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. Right, because our hope and faith is in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh that he's going to deliver us out of this captivity and, and set us in our own land. You know, it's not going to be in anything carnal, you know, of ourselves that's going to deliver us out of this captivity. Otherwise, all of our rebellions when we came up against the devil, you know, when he had us in hardcore slavery, you know, to this day, would have, would have been helped get us out of this current condition. He says, uh, he says alone and keep it silent because he has borne it upon him. So we handle that like, man, uh, he said, what did he tell Job? Well, quack, little bat. Uh, and before you get that, I wanted to just throw this precept in with uh, with the one you just read. This is Exodus 14 and 14. And Yahweh shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. I mean, that is real simple, man. We gonna hold our peace. We ain't finna uh, make no, no uh, join the N-A-A-R-A, -A -A, you know what I'm saying? National African American Gun Association to protect niggas. No, we ain't gonna join no Black Panthers movements or nothing like that, for man. Con, <laughs> nagas for right. nagas, man. Right. We ain't finna join all that shit. We gonna hold our peace, and the Lord is gonna fight for us, man. We tell what it, what what is it? We we shall bear our indignation until um until the Lord plead our cause. We gonna hold our peace until the Lord fight for us, man. I saw it on RT. It's blood moon tonight. I saw it on RT. It's already happening on the other side of the world. And I was looking at it on RT. They showed it like as they was showing the news. They had a camera panned out at the moon and shit. And it was blood moon. So it should have one here tonight. We don't do the catch that one for the week. Woo! But it looks like we you know, we saw always trying to do something to cover the sky up and shit. Um continuing on. Um it says, he sitteth alone and keep it silent because he has borne it upon him. Um, and I want to follow that up with Job 40 and 7. It says, gird up thy loins now like a man. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. So anything we go through, fuck, man. We got to gird our foot. Like, hey, after all that, that Job went through, he told him to gird up his loins like a man. Right. I think about that often, man. Especially in my infirmities, man. But, uh, son, be a son, son, gird up thy loins as a man, and in the times that's coming, hey, the Israelites out there, you know, hey, that that that's gonna be that that should ring true in your minds and shit, man. When all hell is breaking loose and we know what's going on, because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, you know. Uh, what gird up your loins as a man? We ain't gonna be, look. If you're an Israelite out there thinking that you gonna be Captain Save a Ho, you probably ain't gonna make it, man. You're probably not proud of the elect if you think you're gonna be Captain Save a Ho out there. Alright, wait, 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 wait. You know? That nigga's two chain fat, this shit, they play this shit bigger than you. Right, this shit bigger than you, yeah. This bitch that's getting raped on the street is, uh, shit, the Lord got her like that for a reason. We're right. gonna be walking away from shit like that. Right, we ain't, I mean, we ain't here to save everybody. When it come down, look at, look at Venezuela. Con, Look at con. this shit happening in Venezuela right now. Con, con. You think they give a fuck about seeing somebody getting busted down? Hell no, they don't. Worry about how the fuck they gonna eat and shit. Right, right. So, hey, 
No, they they burying that nigga that was brought upon them. Kind, kind, because they the fucked up. They oh, not to mention over in Venezuela, they actually about to get ready to um, start that new cryptocurrency. And, um, kind. Yeah, that, that's another thing that's going on. They starting cryptocurrencies in several different places around the globe now, man. Which they gonna be down to get, they, they down to get with that. Fun. Even one of the brothers that uh, brought out that they starting to put cryptocurrency uh, as the currency of the mark of the beast, which we was always bringing out, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Bitcoin, so, blockchain. Fun, fun, fun. Petro, whatever the fuck you want, whatever the fuck you want. All right, that blockchain is the biggest thing because I was looking at something on Boom Bust today and they was going into how the blockchain for an average motherfucker to just hack that. He mm-hmm. made the comparison of uh, barcode. Mm-hmm. Make the comparison on some uh, uh, blockchain is like a chicken McNugget. Trying yeah. to hack a blockchain is basically like trying to turn a chicken McNugget back into a chicken. Right, because a chicken McNugget is uh, uh, has a hundred percent chicken is what they say. But if it has a hundred percent chicken, but they're not saying it is a hundred percent chicken. So it's chicken people. and some other bullshit in there, man. And, it, and it's a false security in this in this system. Gun. You know? They're trying to get you to be, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's like, yeah, that makes sense, you know? Okay, mm-hmm. this is a safer path to take. What's more, so much better than fiat currency? Mm-hmm. What, what's better than, at least with fiat currency, I can hold that shit in my hand. Gun. Even though it could be devalued, at least I can hold the bitch. It's tangible. Gun, gun. Oh, Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Right, that false balance, man, they used to take weights of silver and gold uh-huh. and put them on that balance. If you, you had cats that tricked out their balances, balances, you know what I'm saying, their weights, and uh, or their balance, so to speak, and their weights, mm-hmm. and they have false weights, man, uh-huh. and false balances. Um, and what, what they did is they set it up so that it would actually look like you were actually receiving more when you were actually being cut by certain mm-hmm. grams of gold or silver or kilograms. You know what I'm right. saying? That made the difference. You know, it's like somebody trying to trying to cut you up in, in a currency you don't know well, and they're trying to play you and, and take extra. Like you playing somebody that's not from here, and they used to dealing with a yuan or something. You, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you cutting them an extra $50, $70 and shit. That you put in your pocket. Uh, Cause a dollar, a dollar in itself is supposed to be a measurement in gold. Right. But you, you don't just let a nigga try to go to the to a bank and get some gold if they want to, man. Cause back then, back in um, back in the past, the dollar right. had it was a certificate. But well, now every every dollar is supposed to be backed up by a troy ounce of silver. Cunt, cunt. A whole troy ounce of silver. Cunt. It cause it was a certificate. Cunt. But now. You try to get now they they call it a a, a debt note, man. Yeah. So basically, it's all all credit because right. it's backed up by nothing, you know. Right. It's fiat, and and, and, and for those of you, fake. That, yeah, exactly, fake, false. It's a fiat currency, a fake, false currency, man. And, and they never last, man. But they saying that the dollar is worth more than gold, but the dollar is just a measurement in gold or silver. What the old saying that the dollar isn't worth the paper it's printed on? Exactly. The dollar is not worth the paper that it's printed on. Cause it's not, man. The the this this paper cotton dollar is not worth a, a ounce of silver, man. It's not even worth a copper penny to be honest, you know. And that's what y'all but, niggas was picking uh Jake was one of them other reasons they was picking that cotton for. It's huh. fiat currency. Huh. White so, man's fruit of balloons. Cunt, huh. cunt. Huh. Because contrary to popular demand, this is made out of uh, cotton fibers. Good. Uh, continue on. Uh, Lamentations 3 and 30. He agreed, uh, he, uh, 29, he put it his mouth in the dust. Uh, if so, be there, may be hope. Right, man. So, at 28, it says, he sit it alone and keep it silent because he has uh, borne it upon him. He put it his mouth in the dust. If so, be there, may be hope. Right. Oh, yeah, he, he, he basically be quiet. And if so, there may be hope, man. You, you, we, we pray and we hope quietly, man. You know? 
Uh, he giveth his cheek to him that smiteth him. He is filled full with reproach. For Yahweh will not cast off forever. But though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercy. Right. Though because Yahweh, Barsham Yahweh Shai, will not cast off forever, man. We in this low state for a period of time. Actually, the uh, the time of our low state is actually over right now, you know? Yeah, we we in the we, every day. Yeah. It's That's in why the every is, day. time is speeding up. Come. In a sense, you know. Things so are to go Yeah. So we in this low state just for this period of time. But the Lord is gonna uh, plead our cause eventually, man. It's like having that cup and taking it and that water, the wine of the, of the most high's wrath. When you pour it into another cup, you know what I'm saying, it takes time. Cun, cun, it takes time to pour, yep. Every last drop, mother. Yep. I mean, it took time for us to go into slavery. It didn't happen overnight. All the Israelites wasn't brought over here in one slave ship. It took many ships, man. And it actually took time, you know, for us to be in this uh, slavery. As a matter of fact, it took, the, it took time for the prophecies to be fulfilled, you know. And all and um until all the prophecies is fulfilled, we gonna still be in this bitch, you know? Right. It's just taking time, man. In this position. Cut. Um it says Mo, but though he caused grief, yet yeah, well you have compassion according to the multitude of his mercy. He's the most merciful God. So we Cun. can turn this but that's only in the time of grace. Cun. We got our chance to turn back right now. Fun, fun. And you know, we got to utilize that time right. Fun. You know, because if we don't, hey man, it's not going to be a gracious time. And he's going to have mercy on us. Because it's going to be a time that we won't have mercy on any of our people but they say. Fun, hey, and that time is coming swiftly, man. That day of the Lord, where you say is darkness and not light. What is the day of the Lord to you, you know? And that's even, that's even going to uh, two thirds of you Israelites. What is the day of the Lord for you, man? Don't you know the day of the Lord is darkness and not light? Y'all think some Edomite gonna come from the uh, come from the sky, passing out roses, and say, uh, "I'm gonna be, I'm here to make America great." Singing, singing, uh, you know, singing a soft rock ballad. Right, right, right. Going and invite Jesse Lee Peterson up there right. and shit to the forefront. Right. And being after him, Uncle Ruckus, you know what I'm Jim saying? Yeah, you know, all these, you know, niggas thinking, get up here yeah. And play Kumbaya. Cun, cun. On a fucking loudspeaker from, from a big ass fluffy cloud. Right. Because cause to think that the, that, to think that the, uh, the son of the Most High is an Edomite man, or a so called white man, as, as people call him, the, the, the so called white man, is it, it, to think that America is the kingdom of heaven, man. This is a far cry from the kingdom of heaven, which first and foremost is the Lord's people. Actually, first and foremost is this knowledge, man. You know? This is the, um, first Peter chapter four, verse 17. Mm -hmm. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them, what shall that and be of them that obey not the gospel of the Messiah. Right. It's going to begin at the children of Israel, man. So all when all hell break loose, the first people that's going to catch it is Jake, man. Two-thirds is going to catch it first, man. And what about them that don't obey the uh, Heavenly Father, that this, this wasn't even given to? Hey, man, the end of that shit is straight up hell for a thousand years, man. And then on another level, if you want to think about it on another level, it's going to begin at the, uh, at the uh, righteous men of the Lord or the men that's trying to be righteous, you know, the ones that know that they're Israelites. Because the, the ones that were called but not chosen, it's going to start with them. Why is it going to start with them? Because they were called, you know. And, and you see Esau making all these laws and shit to uh, oppress the men that were called by the Heavenly Father, man. Anybody that, what do they call black Hebrew Israelites? A hate group worse than the KKK? What? Ain't killed nobody, but a hate group worse than the KKK? Got us in the Southern Poverty Law Center? 
I mean, the yeah, the Southern Southern Poverty Law Center as a hate group, man. They gonna lump us in with Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Right, right. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> shit, man. So it's gonna actually start there, man. Y'all know who that is? Check them out. Right. Yep, they gonna yeah. So they gonna start basically with the men that were called, man. Yahweh Ben motherfucking Yahweh. Yahweh Ben a nigga Yahweh. Hmm. And if the righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Right. The elect don't scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? And really, the only sinners are the children of Israel. That's talking about us, man. If we scarcely saved, where is the where is you two-thirds going to appear? Man, all types of hell is going to happen to y'all in this time of trouble, man. Especially you scoffers and scorners. Come on, come on. It would have been better, like, you know, for the for the... Ones that just keep it moving and keep walking yep. by, or yep. you know, or don't get on the comment boards talking shit, it would be better for them in that day Fine. than for you scoffers and scorners. Fine. It says, "Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well doing, as Fine. unto a faithful Creator." Fine. We gotta commit onto this in well doing. No guile in our hearts, no cloak of maliciousness. Mm -hmm. We doing this also, you know, for the wellness of the truth and for the wellness and the conditioning, for the oh. condition of our spirit, our mm -hmm. salvation. Right. Well, you know, for the terror of the Lord, we persuade them. Right. In Amos uh, 9 and 8, the Lord, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, <coughs> and I will destroy it off the face of the earth. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Yaquah or Jacob, save the house. Right. Uh, the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom. And this is the sinful kingdom, for those that don't know. America is the sinful kingdom. You know? And he said he's going to destroy it off of the face of, a, of the earth, save you not, will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. In other words, his elect from over here is going to be saved, man. That's what's going to happen. You know, that's our hope. That's what we're looking for. But lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the seed. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Huh. And all of us are scattered among all nations. And that's all also where that confusion of faces come in, where we have some brothers that actually look like the other nations. You know, I was going to say, yes, sir. Uh, 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 yeah, I said we shall not fall upon the earth, right? Because not one of those tribes is going to stop existing. Excuse me, at any one point in time in history, besides Dan, which we know Dan was, you know, most likely uh, uh, absorbed amongst other tribes, we know that the most High never brought them to a, a straight up end. You know what I'm saying? Most I didn't just make them fall on the earth like they ain't nowhere to be found anymore. But well, what's the tribe of Benjamin and the northern tribe? They was just, the most I just was done away with. Them. No, man. No. Bullshit. They still been here. That's us. Okay. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Right. The evil will not overtake nor prevent them from doing more wickedness. <laughs> it's going to. It's going to prevent you from doing more wickedness and it's going to overtake you, man. The Lord is going to straight up destroy you. Going back to them videos, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But you, 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 you jakes out there, two thirds of you Israelites are not terrified. Y'all not afraid. And that's why it's going to destroy you. It says, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will rise up, raise up his ruins and I will build uh, it as the days of old. Right, we're going to be rebuilt as in the days of King David. Because uh, the scriptures talk about we're going to serve David our king, man. So King David is going to return as well, man. And, uh, and mind you that... Um, that building or that tabernacle is being built right now. Cut. Each of us is a brick. Cut. All right. So each man is, has a value because, you know, even though we're nothing, we're still something 
and it works, man. Okay. Y'all about shooting me out shot. Okay. If we proceed with caution. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shoot. Um, that would have been a good one. Proceed with caution. Okay. You know? Matthew 16 and 17. It says that Yahweh shall said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Right, upon this rock, upon Peter, which was uh, also King David, if you can receive it. If. Yeah, big if, because not everybody can receive it. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Mm -hmm. Right. And the gates of hell is just one, this kingdom, this system. Right? It's okay. not going to prevail against it. That's why the Most High is not going to make a, a complete end you know, of any of his charges in, in this world. Okay. It says, uh, that's how we know that Dan most likely was absorbed into the other tribes because he said he would not make a complete end to it. Okay. You know, okay. So, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. I mean, it says it plainly in the 16th verse in Genesis 49 chapter. Gun, Dan, Dan will rule with the children, with the tribes of Israel, right? Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Gun, Dan it was absorbed into other tribes. Right. And he's not going to make a full end to any of, his, uh, any of the children of Israel. Gun, gun. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So we're building, we, we're building up these spiritual blessings or these spiritual gifts in heaven, man. Kind. We yeah. can't see it right now, but we're doing it in faith because we can feel it. Kind. We can feel it kind. through the spirit. We know that this isn't in vain. Not just because this is what the scriptures say, but we can feel it. It resonates kind. with our spirit. It's not going to resonate with everybody's spirit. Um, one more time, uh, Lamentations 3 and 33, for he doeth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men, to crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth. Right, and who's the prisoners of this earth right now? The so-called Native Americans, Latinos, and Negroes. The prisoners of the earth, because we're still in this captivity, it's cursing, so it's like the mother said, it's coming off of us. Good. And it's going right to you devils, man, right to you Edomites. To to turn aside the right of a man before the face of the Most High, to subvert a man and his cause, the Lord opposes not. So the Most High is not setting people at variance with him. All right, using pride and the van vanity in your spirit, man. He was created just just to go against the Most High, basically. Yeah. It's nothing hard to figure out. That's just what you was created to do. So he can display his power on your ass. Mm -hmm. All right, we got somebody out there that's going to that's gonna be the target for somebody like that knows some, some great MMA skills. Somebody going to test him. Okay. He's going to tear his ass up. Okay. Most I made him to get his ass tore up at that moment by okay. this man because okay. he enjoys a good a good film, a good, okay. a good uh, theatrical <laughs> yeah, uh, theatrical, theatrical uh, showing. Yeah. <laughs> uh. It says... Uh, who is he? Uh, who is he that saith, and it, it cometh to pass when Jehovah commands it not? Mm -hmm. Out of the mouth of the Most High proceeded not evil and good. Wherefore doeth a living man complain, a man for the punishment of his sins? Right. Question. Yeah. Wherefore doeth doeth the evil man complain for the punishment of his sins? You didn't. You didn't committed all these sins. And now you're getting punished and shit. Why, what you complaining for? What you complaining for? You knew you was going to get punished for the evil that you was doing. But you complaining as if you shouldn't. You know? It says, let us search and try our ways and turn again to your house. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto uh, Allah in the heavens. Mm -hmm. We have transgressed and have rebelled. Thou hast not pardoned. Thou mm -hmm. hast covered with an anger and persecuted us. Thou hast slain, thou hast not pitied. pitied. Hey, Mosiah has fucked us up, man. Mm -hmm. 
right. And there's a reason behind everything that he did. Right. We we committed we committed iniquity against the Heavenly Father. We sinned, man. Right. So we have to bear that indignation, man. It's the same thing with Esau. Esau is complaining because he knows he's going down, and we're best basically prophesying his downfall through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Dash. And he's complaining about it. When we went down, we couldn't complain. We 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 sinned. We we basically just sinned and hoped for mercy, man. And that mercy is being shown us now. How do we know? The truth is un, is unsealed now. You know. Thou hast covered thyself with a cloud, that our prayers should not pass through. Mm -hmm. Thou hast made us as the outscourging and refuse in the midst of the people. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us. All of our enemies. Every other nation has opened their mouth against us to devour us, man. Mm -hmm. they, they, they used the children of Israel in whatever way they listed, man. Yeah. All of the nations, man. Esau may have done the most, but all of the nations then did whatever they listed to the uh, to the children of Israel, and all of them were in agreement to cut us off, uh, call, cut us off as a people, man. Right. That cat is still going, but gun. It's, uh, uh, it says fear and a snare is come upon us, desolation and destruction. The highest running down with rivers of water for the destruction of the daughter of my people. Turn. We cry for the destruction of the daughter of our people, man. Even when we out there teaching, you know, we, we teaching, of course, about the elect, but actually we trying to teach all our people. The Lord said that he would, that none of us would perish, but two-thirds has to perish, man. Because two-thirds are a bunch of can't get rights, man. But this is, a, this is actually our heart pouring out to our people, man. We, we bear your indignation and come back to the uh, fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And, and, and hope for that mercy, man. My eyes triple it down and see this not without any intermission. Till Yahweh look down and behold from heaven. My eyes afflicted mine heart because of all the daughters of my city. Mine eyes chase me sore like a bird without cause and have cut off my life in the dungeon and cast a stone upon him. We locked up in his prison house. Okay. In his country itself and his individual house. Okay. Okay. Waters flowed out of my head. Then I said, I am cut off. I called upon thy name when you howl out of thy low dungeon. Thou hast heard my voice. Hide not thine ear at thy at my brethren, uh, at my breathing, at my at my cry. Um, thou drawest near in the, in the day that I called upon thee, thou saidest, fear not. Right, Lord. Oh, so I tell him, you fear not right now. He's drawn towards you in this day right now. Right. Spiritually and physically in the days to come. So, right. um, he has not given us a spirit of fear. Right. And with that, we hope you brothers was edified. Uh, all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakhah uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors and salutation to you brothers doing the work in truth and sincerity. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.